Welcome to the Mexsoft User Spotlight Series, where you can find real customers achieving their success with Mexsoft products. Today we'll be spotlighting Christopher Dungy Cello Maker Inc. in his use of RhinoCam CNC software. Christopher Dungy of Grand Junction, Colorado, started his career in 1978 with a music degree and playing double bass performances. However, Chris was quickly captivated by the art and fine craftsmanship of the very instruments that he loved to play. So much so that in 1979, Chris applied for and was accepted to this prestigious three-year program at Newark School of Violin Making in Newark, England, where on average only five international students from around the world are accepted each year. After completing the program, Chris moved to Los Angeles, working for a few violin shops, performing repair and restoration on some very high-end instruments. Working on Stradivarius, Guarani, and Amati instruments during the day, Chris started crafting his own instruments at night and selling them wholesale. Soon, musicians were contacting Chris directly to commission the creation of the very own Christopher Dungy Cello. Chris realized early on that if he wanted to stay in the business of crafting fine cellos, he was going to have to incorporate machinery into his art and craftsmanship. In the early days, Chris added band saws, planers, drill presses, and even a pantograph duplicating machine at one time. Then, in 2015, Chris purchased the Laguna Tools IQ HHC 3-axis machining center. For drawing and modeling, Chris chose Rhinoceros CAD for its ability to model the organic shapes that his cellos required. RhinoCam was then the obvious choice for CNC toolpath generation because of its seamless integration with Rhino. We recently sat down with Chris to discuss RhinoCam in the amazing art and craftsmanship of a cello maker. Here is what cello maker Chris Dungy had to say about RhinoCam. So I talked to a couple of other colleagues at a workshop who were also looking into CNCing, and we had all pretty much established that Rhino was probably the best program for our needs. Then one of my colleagues said, you know, why buy another piece of software and you have to learn how to, you know, learn that, that software. Why don't you just get something that incorporates Rhino? Mm -hmm. And of course, RhinoCam is, is the obvious choice. So that's what led me to RhinoCam because it was like, okay, that'll work within Rhino. So it's right. not like I have to do my modeling in Rhino, close it up, and then mm -hmm. throw it over into some other, you know, CAM program. After the first hour of training time, I was just in awe of what I learned in that one hour. And so I would highly, highly recommend to anybody that came to me and said, oh, I'm looking at CNC, and da 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 and I would highly recommend RhinoCam because of the training that your company offers. Thanks, Chris. The RhinoCam difference. Chris will readily admit that even with some automation, it still takes him 400 to 600 hours of love and labor to craft a Christopher Dungy cello, with number 122 being completed as we speak within the span of his 40-year career. However, cello making is an arduous profession that wreaks havoc on the upper arms, wrists, and joints forcing short careers on many of his colleagues. With the help of RhinoCam, Chris is able to automate the task of bulk material removal that 200 years ago would have been performed by workshop apprentice. The part we'll be discussing today is the arch top of a Christopher Dungy cello, shown here. Part and Setup Chris has spent a considerable amount of time reviewing and tweaking his 3D CAD models until they represent the perfect form that makes his cellos unique. We see here the top side of the cello as a 3D Rhino part model. Notice the curvature in the front elevation. Next we see the stock model displayed in the Rhino Cam plugin. 
It measures 600 by 900 by 33.5 millimeters. The holes at the north and south ends are for alignment, while those located east and west are for fastening the stock to the table of the CNC machine. It is important to note again here that the CNC machine is only used for bulk material removal of excess wood. The final finishing work is all done manually by Christopher Dungey. In this next image, we see a 2.5 axis profile roughing operation using a 12.5 diameter ball mill with the XY stock allowance set to 3.0 millimeters and the cut direction set to a conventional up cut. The Z depth of this operation leaves a 7.0 millimeter thickness at the base of the stock and two rectangular bridges 20 millimeters long by 7 millimeters high at the north and south locations. We'll show you the bridges more clearly in a moment. This next operation is an interesting use of three axis parallel finishing. It is used as a roughing operation, again with a 12.5 diameter ball mill. Chris has a stock allowance of 2 millimeters, a mixed cut direction, a 46% step over, and then sets the lowest Z containment to 23 millimeters. This is followed by a copy of the same 3 axis parallel finishing operation, but with stock remaining set to 1.5 millimeters, and the lowest Z set to 13.5. Both of these operations have engage and retract motion set to linear, but with zero length, and approach and departure motions set to 0 0.6. This allows the tool to start cutting while centered on the inner edge of the stock, left from the previous profiling operation. In this next image, we see the final three axis parallel finishing operation. It is identical to the previous two, but with stock and Z limit both set to zero, and step over reduced to 12%. Next, we see the remaining profiling finishing operation, this time with XY stock allowance set to zero, and the rectangular bridges north and south set to 25 millimeters long by six millimeters high. Here is a close-up view of the north end bridge. Also notice in this final image, the scalloping of stock material left on the stock. This is by design. Chris completes the final exterior cut completely by hand. Here are some images of the part being machined on Chris's 3-axis machining center. Regardless of the use of modern CNC tools for bulk wood removal only, a Christopher Dungey cello is a finely crafted instrument. The images shown here are all you need to know about the quality, skill, and craftsmanship incorporated into each and every Christopher Dungey cello. Here are images of a completed Christopher Dungey cello. Chris has become an expert in many different varnishing methods that include new varnish as well as those for restoration and repair. On the left, Chris is shown standing next to the Kauari tree in New Zealand. The fossilized resin from this tree is used in the varnish of every Christopher Dungey cello. On the right, well, an original Christopher Dungey cello. To learn more about Christopher Dungey, we invite you to visit him online at DungeyCello.com. You can also find him on Facebook and Instagram. RhinoCam is available in five configurations, Express, Standard, Expert, Professional, and Premium. The parts shown here were programmed using the standard configuration. Here are some additional details about each configuration. For the complete features list, we invite you to visit the RhinoCam product page. This video was brought to you by Mexop Corporation, your cam partner.